G'day everybody and welcome back to Pete's HQ. I'm your host as always, Pete Oz, and it is time for another fantastic adventure in War on the Sea. As you'll remember last time, we got a we sunk the EU, uh, say the USS Musashi. As you can just hear my dog sneezing in the background, but no, it is the uh, Japanese battleship Musashi. Um, we got her with a perfectly executed anvil attack. He won't stop sneezing. <laughs> um, today, on today's agenda, I have decided that uh, we're going to RTB the Avengers from Wasp. They are heading back. And then Wasp is going to make a beeline back to New Hebrides and get some more aircraft on board. We're waiting for resupply at New Hebrides as well in troops and supply. Guadalcanal isn't looking too bad here. We've got 3,814 troops. They have plenty of snacks and bullets. Um, the one that's in danger is potentially Milne Bay, but we do have Task Force Z of the Nashville, Sampson and Summers. That's the, it's the remains of what was Task Force Z. They are running down to Cooktown and they're going to pick up as many troops as they can and then uh, drop them back off at Milne Bay. So that is the state of play at the moment. What I'll do is I will speed up time and I will bring everybody back in when something exciting happens. We've had an encounter here with our uh, Scout Kingfisher. So what has she spotted? Let's have a look. Uh, it is a Japanese task force. Uh, mostly destroyers and light cruisers. This isn't too bad. Um, we... Are definitely going to persecute this. What we're going to do is we are going to initiate the retreat and then we will bring in aircraft and ships to assault this uh, this enemy task force. So just up here was where we spotted that task force. So what we've done is we've dispatched some more flight planes from the battleship task force. Um, they are on position now. What we might do is that is a bit far for any aircraft isn't it and we've already got b-17s going in they are definitely going to be trying something we'll move our submarine in uh, he's very light on torpedoes though we are light on ships so if we were to move in here they would potentially be dropping troops on guadalcanal which isn't quite what we want so i know we said we were going to let Wasp have a rest, but can't. Uh... All right, is she ready now? I know we've RTB these Avengers. But let's let's just do that for now. See if uh... see if Wasp can launch the aircraft. Not yet. There's our task force there, as you can see. Um, we are going to ignore it, but we are going to follow them. I want to know where they're going. Yeah, they're coming up this way. Wasp is ready, so let's get Dauntlesses. Um, we'll get them with uh, 1,000 pounds armor piercing and two 100 pound high explosives, and we will get them to come straight up here. They are going to take on that light task force there. Um, while we're doing that, we will get underway with our carrier task force, I reckon. Yep, it's time for time for her to get out of the theatre for the moment. Those air crews need some rest and recovery. Um, we are going to bring these Dauntlesses in and uh, I'll bring you back in when something exciting happens. Our Dauntlesses are in position as the sun is setting off in the distance there. All right, what have we got here? All right, we are perfectly positioned. Let's uh, have a look at what targets we've got. All right, light cruiser. We might take out all the light cruisers if we can. That is going to be the plan. All right, group one. You can target uh, this one. Um, you can target this one. And what are your orders? You can attack 
Group two. Oh, I want you to target. Where is another? Is that the only light cruiser? It is. All the rest are destroyers. All right. Well, we're gonna have fun bombing a destroyer. Target this one and attack, please. And what we'll do is we'll leave the these guys in reserve. So that way, um, if they're needed, we can use them. Because they might be needed to uh, to sink target number one here. So it won't be long till the uh, Japanese register aircraft coming in. Actually, what we are going to do is who are you targeting? Yeah, it's fine. You can hear the alert klaxons going off on the Japanese ships. They have spotted the aircraft. Um, I haven't. Oh, hang on. There they are. Out there. That could be our second group, though. All right, here we go. Here they come. Let's go have a have a look, shall we? Let's uh, let's take it from the, the the view of our brave Dauntless pilots here. Being the rear gunner on a Dauntless would definitely be a absolute task and a half, I reckon. Right. You pinned in your seat as the uh, the aircraft is diving. You've got no control whatsoever. You are at, at, at the mercy of your uh, of your pilot. All right, let's ride it in with this Dauntless. Here he goes. We are in the dive. Anti-aircraft fire coming up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Swap down with the Japanese ship. Bombs are away. Good strikes there. Good strikes. We completely missed that destroyer by the looks of it. So what we are going to do is we will bring in flight number three. They can target this one and attack. No, we may have hit that destroyer. Um, it's just hard to tell. No, we didn't. No, I think we completely missed her. All right, let's let's wait for our uh, sh planes to come in. All right, how these guys coming in? So those of you that watched the previous episode and know that I have been uh, pretty pretty crook. And those of you that are in the Discord <laughs> know that it's been a lung infection. Oh. Not lung infection, sorry, a yeah, chest infection. Yeah, it it uh, has not been fun. Um, doing pretty good today, so I thought I'd uh, take a moment to record some content. But uh, it's, it's, it's been a struggle. I'm now with time speed, I'm about 12 minutes in, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it hasn't been fun. Good hits, good hits. But I don't know if we've done enough damage here to make her sink or not. Um, so let's let's watch her for a little while and uh, and see if she does sink, shall we? Although she has no fires on board, um, she has just a bit of a list. So I don't uh, I don't think we've I don't think we've done enough damage there. Um, these guys might run into each other though. Which if they do, that would be fantastic. The, uh, the destroyer is seeing the error in her ways. And she's correcting course there. Yeah, this light cruiser's not going down. But that's all right. They, uh, we gave them something to think about. So let's uh, fire up the retreat order. Get everyone out of here. Got our Kingfisher there reporting the, uh, the movements. Yeah, this is definitely a troop. A, uh, a troop task force. Has to be. All right, let's speed up time a little bit. Let's confirm. She has moderate damage and minor flooding. So, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing too exciting there.
All right, we'll plot another course there with our Kingfisher. We've got another one coming in. So let's uh, let's see what a little bit of time compression brings, shall we? All right, so we have a little bit of action here just outside of Santa Cruz. A Japanese task force has slipped in during the night. They are here somewhere. There they are. Let's have a look and see what we've got, shall we? Um, oh, you're damaged. Are you? Possibly. Just destroyers. Okay. This is an interesting task force. So we've managed to dispatch Avengers from Santa Cruz. There are B-17s on the way, and there are Dauntlesses from, M uh, from Wasp on the way as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to split all these guys up and just so absolute chaos into the Japanese. So I want you guys to... F no, but I want, no, 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 no. I want you and you. That's it. There we go. All right. I'm going to form these up and I'll bring you back in. So I've given all the Avengers the order to attack. Uh, two Avengers per destroyer. That should be enough to take out these destroyers uh, if we have um, good Mark 14 luck. That's the, uh, that's the aim of the game here, is, uh, is good luck. So hopefully this attack can wipe out most of this, uh, of this Japanese task force here. As you can see, they have started to unload on us with uh, anti-aircraft fire already. Um, not sure who's firing there. Um, but as you can see, they are coming down to the deck in the morning sun. Um, and they will be engaging these Japanese destroyers momentarily. So fingers crossed, we've uh, we've managed to plan this properly. Um, no anvil attacks because I uh, don't believe it's needed on destroyers. Um, we're just going to go on the torpedo runs and absolutely just so chaos. So fish away. And as you can see, they're all dropping their uh, all dropping their torpedoes here. Fingers crossed we can get some good hits here. Oh, there's a dud up the back there. Our Avenger just went down. Oh, we got a strike on a destroyer with an Avenger. Deck is absolutely alight there. We might uh, get a torpedo hit here. If we're lucky. No, she's... Oh, there we go. I thought she was going to slip under. But no. All of that one torpedo. Strike, that is it. But we have managed to sow chaos into this uh, into this Japanese task force. She's going head first into the, uh, into the drink. She might roll over. Yep, we've managed to sink one Japanese destroyer in all of that. Um, I believe it was basically because an Avenger landed on it. No one else is uh, is going to go down because we didn't hit anybody else. So let's cycle up the uh, leave counter. And I'll bring you guys back in when something exciting happens. some wildcats here from wasp that are going to have some absolute fun strafing these these um destroyers what we're also going to do is we're going to bring in these dauntlesses as well which are also from wasp and uh we're going to have a little bit of fun here all right let's swing our wildcats down we're going to bring in one group to attack each destroyer so you guys here want you guys to attack didn't happen there. Um, and then moving into attack. Need to press the port, the unpause button, that would help. 
Mark out five here. Uh, you can target this one and attack. Uh, and the ELO squadron, you can target this one and attack. I'm going to bring in our Dauntlesses here. Um, this group here, they can target number seven here and attack. Six and attack. And attack there. That's probably the uh, the riskiest one there because you've got to fly over some uh, anti-aircraft guns. But I haven't actually used uh, Wildcats here in strafing runs, so I'm interested to see what happens here as they come down to the deck. These guys were in retreat from uh, Santa Cruz, which is always good to see. Um, all right, in come our Wildcats here. So they are making good good speed here they haven't been spotted yet by the uh the japanese which is quite handy um we will hopefully get the jump on them so it is still it's still morning the sun is still low in the sky so our outdoors they are coming in as well we might give the um wall speed up actually get the hurry on be quite handy if you guys could. Come on. Speed up, please. Thank you. Alright, here come our... Our Wildcats are inbound on their uh, destroyer targets. Haven't done strafing runs yet, so I'm a little excited uh, for that one. A, uh, another YouTuber I watch play War on the Sea. He has uh, quite some success with them, but uh, doesn't really use Wildcats. So he uses uh, other aircraft because it's a different mod that he's playing, so, which is one that, uh, that I really want to try out soon. All right, here they come. So, so more chaos and destruction into this Japanese task force. As you can see, they are unloading their anti-aircraft guns already. And here we go. One of the big ones unloading. Let's, uh, let's take up the UI. Here we go, diving down. Strife. Good hits there. All these poor wildcats are doing, they've just been... Uh, this whole time, they've just been flying Kappa and Wasp. They finally get to uh, get to attack something, and we have a losses. This one's got some internal fires, which is which is quite handy. So does this one here. All right, how far away are our Dauntlesses? They're a fair while out, so what we're going to do is we will bring you back in when they are approaching a target. Here we go, our Dauntlesses are approaching target. As you can see, a couple of the Japanese ships here are in a worse for wear's shape. Um, they've got internal fires. Um, there was an explosion on one of them, but not, not a magazine explosion, so that is uh, what it is. This one's got a deck fire ablaze. Those Wildcats did some pretty gnarly work. It looks like they're uh, circling the wagons here. Um, all right, so let's let's have a look. Here come our Dauntlesses here under a hail of anti-aircraft fire from the Japanese destroyers. They should be diving right about now. I believe these guys are attacking this one, and they are. Here we go. That would be a scary, scary sight indeed. Bombs away. You can see them. Here we go. Good hits. Brilliant hits on the rear. This one. Great hits there. I think that one was a bit of a miss, that one. This, uh, this Japanese task force has seen absolute better days. They are in all sorts of trouble. But I don't think anyone is going to sink here, so let's order the retreat and we'll see what the uh, the damage is. 
it's not the greatest damage considering all the uh, all the fires. Uh, basically, moderate damage and moderate flooding on number seven. All the rest were all minor. So that attack took place here. We have uh, B-17s heading in with a few more Dauntlesses, um, as well as these ones here. So that is actually going to end it for today's episode. A nice and short one today, mainly because I cannot talk any longer. I've been having absolute coughing fits. So that is the state of play, everyone, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.